Hi students, uh, I want to again connect you uh, by another video. Uh, you have a simple concept um, of uh, simple interest and compound interest and you know the derivation of compound interest also. Don't forget there. Um, in for half early case, why we did that r by 2 and why we did there 2 times t, 2 times n in that video. Uh, it is written as uh, n in the place of t don't be confused so in that place you can replace by these because uh, time is divided two parts for one year time if you are going to pay two times in one year you should multiply by two so it is two n or two t and why we divide by two in a rate because if uh, rate is 10 percent for one year one year but rate is rate must be half in six months so we should divide r by two and we should and not on any interest that is earned during the term of the loan or deposit basically simple interest is interest on principal and nothing else in order to differentiate between simple and compound interest consider the example of daniel and claire Daniel and Claire each deposit $10,000 in high interest savings accounts. However, the bank that Daniel has deposited his money at offers only simple interest, while the bank that Claire has deposited her money at offers compound interest. After the first year, both Daniel and Claire have made $500 or 5% on their initial deposit. Claire will earn $525 in year two, bringing her total capital to $11,025. Meanwhile, Daniel will earn only $500 in year two, bringing his total capital to $11,000. So, after year two, Claire has made $25 more than Daniel, all without lifting a finger. In year three, Daniel will once again make $500 or 5% of his principal investment of $10,000 with simple interest, bringing his total capital to $11,500. Claire, on the other hand, will make 5% of $11,025 in year three for an annual return of $551.25, bringing her total capital to $11,576.25. So, after only two years, Claire has made $76.25 more than Daniel, all due to compound interest. While this may seem like an inconsequential amount of money, it is important to remember that the effects of compound interest increase over time. As we can see from this example, Claire's annual return on investment increased by $26.25, all the way from $525 to $551.25, just from year two to year three. And the effects of compound interest are even more profound when we compare Daniel and Claire's return on investment over a 10-year horizon with Claire's annual return climbing from $500 all the way to approximately $775. In summary, simple interest is interest that is paid only on the initial principal of the loan or deposit. On the other hand, compound interest is interest that is paid on both the principal of a loan or deposit, as well as on the interest that is accumulated from the loan or deposit. Uh, okay, from this video, you can conclude that your compound interest is interest on principal and accumulated interest. So these are difference between simple interest and compound interest. Uh, try to take the concept and try to do some questions as homework, which are uh, given in your homework section. Uh, thank you.